Ministry of Health, in collaboration with its partners, is refocusing on the reduction of maternal and perinatal mortality through enhanced interventions. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jen Ruther Cheng says the national health insurance that is in the offing aims at resolving some of the stumbling blocks to good health, especially among expecting mothers. The national health insurance scheme bill will be mandatory for all, mandatory for all. If you are a Ugandan, you are in. If you are living, Uga living in Uganda, you are in. And all must contribute. All must contribute. Of course, contribution will not be the same. Contribution will depend on your income. The bigger the income, the more the contribution. But all must contribute. And then we'll set a good mechanism for payment so that nobody has to worry about their money. What you need to worry about is getting quality services at your door. The minister cautioned health workers of a poor attitude to work and absenteeism that have contributed negatively to maternal mortality. That I don't care attitude. That is in the system. Should also be analyzed as part of the causes of maternal mortality. And it is one of the big causes of maternal mortality. Negligence and lack of commitment. Health experts now want community surveillance and tracking of maternal and perinatal deaths, monitoring mechanisms strengthened to determine the deaths occurring at community levels. Hemorrhage is the leading cause of death. And I've just realized that 57% of all the deliveries are made in health center three and two. And yet our policy does not allow blood transfusion in those healthcare facilities. So what should we do to help reduce the maternal mortality due to hemorrhage? If the health workers can be available, if they can be skilled, and also if they can give blood rationally. Some people are also over-prescribing blood, and that one we know, for a number of reasons. In ginger, we have a funny problem in ginger. Because Dorothy gives blood in ginger, but all the blood is in the private facilities. And our PS is trying to address that problem. So this blood has developed legs and not the private facilities. In the presidential pledge, 2010, Uyam was supposed to have a general hospital. But to date, honorable minister, we have not got safe motherhood conference is among other issues handling the progress achievements and challenges of maternal and unato health care services in the country zahara abigaba ubc news <laughs>